graph that kind of depicts the Ferris wheel. The Ferris wheel is in red. It has a diameter of 450, so the radius is 225. And uh, we're told that the Ferris wheel revolves at one revolution every 30 minutes, which is the same as two pi radians every 30 minutes, or pi over 15 radians per minute. So that means that this angle theta right here, after one minute, it will be equal to pi over 15. After two minutes, it will be two pi over 15. After 15 minutes, it will be 15 pi over 15 or pi radians. And then what we're trying to find is this height right here, H. And if we create this, draw this auxiliary line right here, we create a right triangle. And if we could find K, subtract K from 225, we'd have what's left over, which is this H value right here. So that's the basic strategy. How can we find the value of K? Well, we've got a right triangle. We've got a, one of its angles. Uh, at least in this first or this first section here, we're dealing with some right triangle trigonometry. Uh, so the cosine of theta would be k over 225. k equals 225 cosine theta. But as we noted up here, theta at any time t has a, a measure of pi over 15 t. So there's the value for k. And h is 225 take away k. So there's your formula right there. H of t equals 225. You could factor out that 225 if you wanted to. Uh, 225 cosine of uh, pi over 15t. And you might notice that... Uh, um, the period will be 2 pi divided by pi over 15, which is 30 minutes, that, or 30. So this is going to start repeating every 30 minutes. Now let me share my screen. Go to Desmos. And you can see here that I have this time slider. And as the time increases, that angle increases, and so does the height that the person is above the ground. I only have uh, this working on the right side of the Ferris wheel as it goes up. And finally, when t equals 15, we're at the top of the Ferris wheel. Okay. Now, what does the graph of that function look like? Let me hide this. Uh, Enable this, and let's see what's in here. Here is f of x. I could have called it h of x, like we did on the whiteboard. 225 times 1 minus the cosine of pi or 15x. And uh, then I created a table with different values for the time. And by the way, to find out when the height is equal to 100, I saw, I set, f of x equal to 100 and solved for the value of x or t for time. And that's what I got here. a sub 1 is 15 over pi times the inverse cosine of 5 ninths. I'll let you work that out. But here's a sub 1 in the table. When time is equal to a sub 1, the height is 100. And if I show all here... When t is a sub 2, the height is 100. And that's these two positions right here. Okay. If I, I enable g of x, uh, that is without restricting the domain. So you can see that it is a cosine function with a midline at uh, 225. And, of course, it's got an amplitude of 225 but it's reflected. Uh, 
over the midline. Okay, so I'm going to include the link to this Desmos graph in the final answer. And hopefully that you'll be able to visit this and take a look at some of this. Okay. Thank you.